With us now are Iran expert Meir Javendafar in Israel and analyst Abdullah Al Janaid in Bahrain. Good evening to you both. Good um, evening. Gentlemen, according to the Washington Post, President Biden is now against delisting the Revolutionary Guards from the terror list. Uh, Mayor, if that happens, there's no deal? Well, um, it really depends if, if Mr. Biden is not. Sorry, does the Washington Post say he's not delisting it, right? He's, he's for not delisting, yes. Or not delisting. It really depends on Ayatollah Khamenei, because in, in all honesty, I mean, Delisting the IRGC is a symbolic factor. Uh, you know, if you delist the IRGC, you can still sanction it to to the sky. It doesn't stop sanctioning the organization. It's a, it has a very strong symbolic value, and um, the fact that maybe we have to wait and see how much Ayatollah Khamenei is going to is his decision now. He has to make a choice whether to take Iran's economy to the edge of the unknown or perhaps the abyss on the, on something that is symbolic or make a compromise this is this is going to he has he's going to have to uh, he's going to have to make a very very tough decision because uh, the IRGC are very close to him president trump killed the apple of uh, ayatollah khamenei's eye that was Qasem Soleimani and uh, we have to see whether president ayatollah khamenei can can justify that alongside the IRGC not being removed from a list of terror organizations. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Abdallah, do you think this issue might be a, a deal breaker? I don't think so. I believe that uh, the Biden administration is just, uh, uh, let's say, applying this uh, sort of tactic mainly for uh, the, uh, you know, the midterm election. And once they secure uh, and they look a bit tough in the, in the eyes of the American against Iran, I uh, promise you the first thing they're going to do in the, uh, uh, very soon after that is negotiate the delisting of IRG. Mm -hmm. Now, let me follow up on, on this in general. It looks like, Abdallah, that the chances for a deal are actually diminishing. Uh, do you share that view? Put it this way, it depends how much, because I, I believe one of the uh, biggest cardinal uh, mistake that was, uh, let's say, uh, done by the Biden administration is to uh, sound and look very desperate for a deal. And that's what compromised their position, uh, not just uh, in the Middle East, but uh, internationally. What the Biden administration need now is not to uh, sound tough and firm, but they have to act firm. Uh, Mayor, uh, comparing to like a few weeks ago, where are we standing now? Um, we are in more in the dark, to be honest with you. It's, uh, it, it, you know, uh, it, uh, the, there's no light at the end of the tunnel at the moment. Um, and, and by light, I'm not just saying, I'm not saying referring to dawn, the light of dawn. It could also be a tr another train coming in the tunnel. We're not seeing either. Um, we are more in the dark. We don't know where the talks are going to go. This is Ayatollah Khamenei has to make a tough decision. Of course, he wants to put the onus back on the Americans. Um, but we really have to wait and see. Um, President Biden, I, I think, has done he has done a lot um, to to uh, to come with, to for us to be where we are. Um, you know, on the one hand, I think it was a wrong decision by President Trump to walk out of the nuclear deal. Uh, but at the same time, I think it was wrong by President Biden not to respond to all of these Iranian attacks against American targets, especially in Syria and, and some of the targets in, 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 in Iraq. Uh, but we are where we are. And I think President Biden has maneuvered the Iranians into a corner that, you know, if at the end of the day, Ayatollah Khamenei decides that uh, he can live with the IRGC staying on the FT foreign terrorist organization list, then that would be a win for President Biden. And at the same time, if Ayatollah Khamenei decides to walk away, I think the fact that the Iranian regime has isolated itself so much in the international community, that will enable President Biden to, uh, to isolate the Iranian regime uh, even more. Mm, Abdallah, what will happen if there's no deal? What will happen? Let me uh, comment on uh, what uh, Nir have said uh, just earlier. 
What we need to understand is one thing. When the, uh, uh, you know, uh, the Obama administration or since the starting of the talk back in uh, uh, 2013 after the uh, uh, 2003 after the invasion, you know, the invasion took place of Iraq in March and the American started negotiating with the uh, Iranian in August. So the stick and carrot didn't work in favor of the grand strategy of containment of Iran. Now, what did the Iranian realize more than anything else? It's just not the uh, nuclear objectives or their program or securing <coughs> nuclear capability. What they have secured is the reinstatement of the Iranian regime on the uh, you know international uh, uh, venue. Uh, everybody was having difficulties reconciling with the Iran uh, regime uh, atrocities and crimes, find itself compelled to deal with this regime based on the agenda that was put forward by the United States and then with the European and then the five plus one. And this is the dangerous ground that we need to face, we need to evaluate. It's not the talks, it is what the interpretation, the strategic implication of these those talks, of these talks continuing to attend to no end, to no end result mm -hmm. or walk away objectives. If we're gonna continue like this, we are not going to secure any any good for this region. And the certain countries within this region are compelled to seek the same deterrence.